and I very much so at the moment, they were saying to me, they kept on saying to me, divide and conquer, divide and conquer. And I was trying to understand what they mean by divide and conquer. And they said it's very important at the moment now that uh, not to divide, not to divide everyone on the planet, not to create, uh, thank you, disruption. Uh, because, okay, thank you. Oh, gosh, okay. okay. Um, and not to create uh, uh, disruption, not to, okay, thank you. Uh, because the frequencies, I'll explain. So what they're saying to me is, What's very important at the moment on the planet is very much about helping individuals uh, because as a mass, as a collective, uh, it's very important at this time. So to help individuals to become more in tuned, become more aware of your natural um, intuition, your natural abilities that you have, uh, because this strengthens you at this time. And what they're saying is when we say divide and conquer, it's very much if you cause disruption through wars, fear, everything else that's going on, you don't tend to hear the information very clearly. I can't explain. Okay, thank you. They're saying at the moment there is this okay thank you uh like a smoke screen on the planet at the moment of what we are hearing um okay uh media and everything else that's been put out there uh when we hear about disruption hear about wars when we hear about something that might cause um an issue to health or other things that are going on in our lives we become fearful when we become fearful we don't hear the information correctly and then we go into primeval brain in the sense of um okay uh how the brain works the monkey mind uh monkey mind and chatter our fears happen it brings it forward and so it becomes like a blanket or a fog over our brain and then that way we uh, we don't make much sense and we go into that fight flee freeze mode of our human mind and that's how the mind was created the brain was created and we know this so i shall explain again so divide and conquer so if you divide up individuals if you make individuals fearful um and okay also if you make them resentful a, a uh, against each other if you uh, say one rule is wrong or one rule is correct for others and you start dividing up then the uh, uh, collective doesn't really get heard okay thank you okay thank you oh um okay they uh, they were telling me all this information they, i've written it down but this is also they're channeling live right now coming through uh because this is what they kept on saying to me okay they said all voices, all voices must be heard at this time. It is very, very important. But okay, they're saying that uh, many groups or many ideas of individual groups are having like a blanket swept over it. So it's almost as if that everybody's not hearing all the information on the planet at this moment. So if it's not in agreements with um, larger bodies, shall we say, it's almost like being blanketed out so not every voice is being heard. And it's very important at this time that everyone's voice is being heard and again this is what they say to me i'm looking at my board because this is some of the information they wrote down this is a real time of um oh thank you they just said disruption on your planet and uh through the disruption uh some voices may not be heard at this time they're repeating themselves seems to be very very important okay thank you Okay, they said um, at the moment, and they need me to say this right now, that, uh, okay, thank you, they said mental health is the biggest killer, I'm reading this off the board, they told me to write down on, mental health is the biggest killer on your planet right now because of if you create disruption and you create uh, unsettlement within the mind, the mind then cannot think from a safe place. Uh, in a sense of it goes underground, uh, divides views. So if your view, um, okay, thank you, they're saying many people's views on the planet at the moment have been highlighted how they think and see things. Okay, they said bring it back to smaller. Okay, thank you. So the, what they're saying is at the moment there's um, many views on the planet and they're saying if you bring it down to individuals so say for instance you as an individual if you are finding yourself 
um, okay, wanting to know more, wanting to expand, self-development, wanting to uh, improve yourself, to help yourself, whether that's through your own having mental health issues, depression, low moods, um, and other factors too, or post-traumatic stress, or whatever it is that you are finding, or just naturally wanting to make change in your life, that is sometimes family members, individual family members, they bring it back small enough to individuals, but this is what's happening globally. But so family members can feel uncomfortable, friends can feel uncomfortable when you begin to change. So when you start uh, looking at your individual self and you are not feeling comfortable with what you've had in your life for many many years and you're going through this uh, time of rebuilding your life rebirthing re-evaluating in your life you, you start it's like sieving through things you start making changes and that could be as in uh, friendship groups change family members that maybe once before that you felt that uh, you were there to either protect them to love them to hold their space and to support them that may begin to change when you start changing yourself okay thank you and what they're saying is sometimes individuals um, see this as threatening they may feel it's threatening because your role changes in your family and then they start making judgment upon you and so by making judgment it's almost as if they blame you or make you feel that you have an issue, have a problem, and this is all about you as an individual. It's not that you're doing it for your own self. So it might be as simple as your views have changed about situations, either globally or your role that you play in your life with your family, your friends, and you may have changed from obviously because of uh, external factors and how you feel and maybe for your own personal development maybe by you discovering things for yourself now that you're seeing things differently for yourself in your life and you may be wanting something different they say where okay thank you they're saying you know where somebody would uh they just use an example once upon a time would eat me and then suddenly they become a vegan or vegetarian when you start making changes uh some friends family members uh, uh your core groups around you may feel unsettled by this because it makes them to some degree have to reevaluate their own lives they start looking at should they do this themselves or if it means if i'm eating me are they judging me do they think i'm wrong and then they start internalizing their position and how they feel about things and they have to look at things you see so at this moment in time on the planet, going bigger now, they just said, there's lots of changes, there's reevaluating. there's this rebirthing, and uh, they just said, many of the females on your planet who have gone through birth know it can be very painful sometimes and unsettling to some degree. Okay, thank you. They're saying uh, through the rebirthing process, it's very much of a sensitive, vulnerable vulnerability vulnerable time that you as an individual could be feeling okay thank you and so at this vulnerable time on your planet i'm looking at the map i have on my wall now uh, at this vulnerable time on your planet of rebirth reevaluating rebuilding your life it's a time an opportunity to connect with those who uh, feel see think are uh, like-minded to yourselves to help to cushion your journey. So connecting with those individuals that feel very similar to yourself. Okay, so this is when they say that with working with your intuition, uh, being more aware of yourself. So, okay, thank you. They said bring it back again smaller. So, you know, if you, for instance, you know, for whatever reason, if you decide that, you know, you want to become a vegetarian, this is not, this is not just talking about food this is talking about the bigger picture but they're just using for one example 
uh, when you're saying, oh, okay, thank you, or okay, look at something else. If you're thinking of maybe looking at your food, your diet, you are what you eat. If you decide then, okay, you don't want to have the crop that norm uh, normal or normally or average or majority of people would have, um, as in you would prefer to have organic uh, and no pesticides or free range, you, you then tend to research you then try tend to do your own research you then look find some information about this you might then start changing your cookbooks you might start talking to individuals and finding that there is a commonality commonality of um uh, finding somebody that also agrees in the sense of they also reevaluating their life and prefer to have food that's organic free range or whatever so they're using this as an example so that you can see that when you start making changes in your life sometimes it's it's like a cushion it's easier to find out more resources and information by those who around who can assist you can help you can hold your space for you can support you through the changes uh, that may be occurring for you as an individual and through those changes of maybe just switching just normal things in your diet that you decide that you know, not to have the pesticides or to free range or whatever it is that you do, that you start to become aware of how you start feeling a little bit different. Now they're using this example wider in the sense of uh, even like with using intuition and looking at your abilities, um, when you start realizing that, you know, you may um, uh, have changes going on for you, you start to become aware that, Maybe there is something more to life. Maybe there is not uh, the life how you've been told how it is. Maybe, you know, from the moment that you're born that we go for a structure or organisation, maybe you start looking at it in a different way, especially now at this period of time because of how structures, especially through planetary changes and also what we've had occurring on the earth at this time, have started to make changes to your life. So it could be a time that you start looking at what it is that you want to maybe want to make changes, whether it's your food, your um, okay friendship groups um, and other things and working with your intuition, they keep saying, okay, thank you. They said, um, uh, okay, thank you. Um, okay, with intuition, it's very much about tuning into how you're feeling about, okay, not selfishness in, in society on your planet. We see the words and the concepts of taking care of yourself is selfish. And so it's in a way of being programmed by others saying not to be selfish from even as a child to share not to be selfish. And sometimes we forgive, forgive, forgave to give up too much of yourself as an individual. So then in a way you then go out to please others and you have the other, you go the other way. Whereas we are saying to always come back to yourself, the oxygen mask, um, as in the sense of you use this terminology when um, to take care of yourself first. You sometimes use this when uh, we see when you fly or you travel in the case of an emergency. But we're saying oh, we are saying this is the emergency, but we are not. We are not here to stress or to create unrest. We are just here to offer some guidance. So we would say it's very much so this time the oxygen mask the time of you to take care of yourself, not selfishness, selfless. So it is about taking care of yourself. And by doing this, we say, by looking at what you eat, we have said this before many times, by what we put into your body. Uh, also, this means thoughts and feelings. And we will go back to that when we said at the beginning, mental health is, is the biggest killer on your planet. So also your thoughts to look at the chitter chatter of the monkey mind that jumps around. It is also a period of time for you to be aware of your inner thought processes and a time of to to reevaluate, to rebuild, to to rebirth some of your thought processes, to rewire, to to look at how you may have seen things in the past. This may also be the roles that you have played in your family, your friends and society around you. But this is this time, this is this unsettlement, this is this period of time for great change on your planet. 
So this is this time now to reevaluate where you are, to see if there are changes to be made, for you to be aware. Also, we want to say that uh, with the mind in when there is created chaos, the uh, the okay the thought process um, it interrupts the frequencies if you're intuitive, which everyone is to some various degrees. It creates a interruption in the frequency, the waves of information that you receive. And at this moment on the planet, of course, there is a great interruption of wars and uh, of everything that has been broken up on your planet right now. The disturbances that you have on your planet, it interrupts your frequencies from uh, the greater divine. It, it can sometimes disconnect you. Um, from hearing information because if you're fearful it creates this blanket this fog that it's harder to connect so when there is a uh, disruption in your individual families if we bring it back smaller when you are experiencing changes within your own internal family groups the soul pods that you have the family members that have been brought in sometimes because of the feelings of the interactions with the individuals creates feelings and uh, from feelings this chemical reaction in your body so creating this unsettlement this imbalance within your own mind which makes it harder for you to maybe come from a clearer perspective uh, a clearer understanding of what's going on so you get pulled in you get dragged into what is going on and then you can't see um, the bigger picture of what's going on in your family and it creates this haze it's uh, difficult and so coming back to individuals so this is smaller for you individuals to realize when you have disruption going on in your family the role that you play mother father sister brother cousin niece nephew whoever you play in this uh, part in your family it creates chaos and makes it harder for you to understand what is going on the bigger picture it can create chaos so when you think of this as a larger as in the planet as in the global system that is occurring and the disruption it creates sometimes fear and a disruption so that maybe it's harder to see the bigger picture so i'm hearing they're saying it's like a smoke screen for what is really occurring on your planet at this time and when i go to what they wrote they said what's really going on um okay thank you they then gave me a sentence and said who is really wearing a mask what is the mask and they're not talking about the mask they are talking about the mask of the planet at this time and the masks of um uh structure on the planet this is organizations on the planet and the mask that those individual organizations and global organizations may be wearing and who have worn those masks facial feature whole masks in the sense of what we thought that those uh governmental and other structures have been put in place uh, as we thought to be there to uh, rescue, protect, support us as such. Okay, thank you. So they're saying that uh, how from early birth and uh, going back ancestrally, how we have thought of structures that have been put in place to offer us some support, to to make us, to help us to feel safe and supported. And they're talking about also very much of maybe um, uh, um, structures being put in place almost to act like a parent to us to some degree. And as we know, as we grow, sometimes when we find out more information and more knowledge, uh, as we go through stages of our childhood, teenagehood, adulthood, when we discover more information, we then uh, may see the bigger picture. We don't have the fog or the smoke screen. We might see sometimes if we go smaller, they said back to the family, uh, sometimes they say the teenager 
uh, is the rebel who uh, doesn't go with the status quo and maybe can see it differently and uh, maybe the child uh, doesn't have the fear as such or to some degree didn't have the fear and so makes it easier for life choices and changes but when we grow as from a child into an adult we then take on the fear of the planet we are then told we should we could we wouldn't we should not do certain things and with the fear it may keep us small so the uh, information I'm hearing is very much how being managed on our planet to some degree and um, and now where <laughs> they sort of said to me if you keep humans fearful you keep them small and you divide and it's easier to conquer whereas when you teach individuals you have a natural ability you have a gift as in intu intuition um, and working with that more you build it up but and they're saying this is not a religious thing this is more about empowering you as an individual when you empower individuals with your intuition and your natural abilities like the animal that has the natural abilities when the animal works with its natural abilities it keeps itself safe and then they just brought in an experiment as such as in there is an experiment that was done when you bring and i used to be a zookeeper so i remember this and i studied psychology and sociology years ago that when you bring two um i can't remember exactly the words but if you bring in the groups two large groups of chimpanzees together there's a famous experiment that was done when you bring the two groups together two packs together um and the chimpanzees and as we know we're closely related to the great ape that when you bring two chimpanzee groups together that what happens is they fight because they feel that they don't have enough space provided for them to naturally have their their uh, youngs being born um, and also food so when you bring them together and you overpopulate a group of chimpanzees they end up fighting with each other so they just said they then do the work of others so then you feel then this is the um, a, a natural selection to some degree and what they're saying is this is what's happened with your population on your planet when you bring humans too close together they fight and they then depopulate the planet and they make it easier for others and governmental bodies and other organizations to instead of them depopulizing you create great wars on your planet this is what i'm just hearing and i'm channeling the information for you right now um and so they're saying that uh, when there is change on the planet and restructuring which is occurring right now when you create uh wars and unsettlement then it becomes the fog and it separates you from your can separate you through fear disconnect you from your intuition and your higher guidance from divine and they're saying this is not so much talking about religion again they're talking more about your connection to divine source and whatever you might call that whether you would call that god angels um higher beings divine light or you might see it as your religion whatever that religion might be but what they're saying is it's more psychologically when you create chaos it can disconnect you because you then uh, fear like the chimpanzees you will have lack of food lack of structure and you almost feel through fear that you then have to interact and when we have disruption on the planet they are saying then it creates chaos and then it creates a almost like okay, they said a bit like they're showing me as in the dolphin with the sonic waves would connect to oh they bring me tears and sadness at the moment with dolphins would connect to each other from sonic waves and they would interact with each other but of course when we then create chaos in the oceans with 
uh, sonic waves in the sense of the submarines and disruption through um, uh, weapons. Uh, it creates chaos and so that the dolphins don't hear the sonic waves or they mis get misguided and then end up being washed up on the shore. And they're also saying this with intuition is very similar. It's very much like the sonic waves. Um, the waves from above and I'm talking and I feel sadness because that's exactly the emotions I'm feeling right now um, from my guides who are giving me this channeled information right now. So what they're saying is there's almost as if the frequency, the waves, as in like radio station waves, like a radio which we use every day, we do not um, fear a radio station sending information to us. We do not fear the information that is channeled on our radio waves. And I'm sending information channeled directly from source right now. Um, for those who might hear the information, maybe fearful, maybe not. Uh, but this is just natural information, natural waves of information that I'm hearing and channeling right now. And what I'm hearing right now is when you, there is disruption created on your planet, the waves are, uh, the frequency gets disrupted. So from the light workers and the channelers on your planet, they're saying are oh, hearing the information pure. And so it is individually up to you who hears the information. So they're saying when fear is created on your planet, it makes it difficult then for the human fear, the natural human fear of thinking that you must provide for yourself and your family and for those around you, that then the intuition gets disrupted. And also through individual panic on your planet, if you create chaos, you create mental health issues, which then creates, then you might end up seeking medicines and I'm not here to say they're wrong as the human I'm not I know I've used them myself but I'm saying from channeled information right now that when we disconnect from um, tuning into our intuition that will be through meditation whatever meditation you seek uh, that will be having your own connection with the divine or religion if that's what you want to go through Again, they just said religion creates construction, uh, restriction from how it's created. But they're sort of saying it's, oh, thank you. They just said um, by naturally tuning in yourself, learning and connecting with your own intuition, you connect yourself directly to source and then you hear your own information. It's not then... Um, filtered you hear the information that you need and that's what they're saying right now is that for you to have your connection and to um, tune in to uh, use your intuition and through meditation will help you individually and they just said to me especially this is the time that you need it the most on your planet as some information is not reaching everyone on this planet at this time some information might be filtered and then also information that is filtered can create great panic and fear on your planet and mental health, they say this again, is the greatest killer on your planet through suicide or through not hearing the information correctly. I'm just checking my notes, what they also wrote here. Okay, okay, thank you. They also just said to me by making the body fearful, you then create the... Um, levels of stress hormones in your body that then again reduce, reduces your immunity system and then makes it harder for you then to fight off certain illnesses and diseases which are naturally occurring on your planet at this moment on at this time to some degree by creating a fear and isolating individuals, the isolation will also mental health and isolation, your body does not build up its antibodies. You need to look through the smoke screen to see why the isolation has been brought in um, and restrictions so that they do not gather and so that the like-mindedness do not come together to, to harbour, to seek um, refuge to seek peace um, 
it's important at this time to, um, they're saying, to, to raise your frequency. And by doing that, your high fives would be to connect with others that are like-minded, who do not stand in judgment of your views, who do not then, if they stand in judgment of your views, would then you would have to fight them in a sense of verbally or to stand against them. That reduces also, again, your position of your empowerment would cause conflict so to uh, to seek out uh, the high fives the happiness to find where it is that you can create this happiness and joining together with others that you seek out similar information to you helps your immune system and helps you individually and i'm going back to my notes just to make sure that i'm checking in that i am um uh, reading and, and channeling the information to correct and they just said I've looked at my notes the individuals to do their research own individual research for what feels right for you we are not here to brainwash you we are here to guide you and that's how we do that okay they also wrote there is a bigger picture a bigger plan here about your society by dividing you um okay and they said on the notes I took earlier and again I think I channeling sometimes I do not hear all the information I just as a channel I just voice I am the voice I'm and on my notes it says about um look at what you are being told look what you're being instructed um it's about a, a create a disruption at this time to divide you that's with one of the sheets of information they gave me okay thank you okay um they also said uh, uh, okay, thank you. There is a word that is used within relationships, codependency, narcissistic. Okay, thank you. And it's a great word that would be used at this time. And not just at this time, but this, your planet, how it has been on a cycle of, in, from a narcissist, if you think of a narcissist, is to make you think that you need something to disempower you to think that they as individuals have the right answer or correct answer for you to keep you small as an individual. This is bigger on your planet. Having the narcissist to, uh, they said to suggest you look up the word narcissist, but it's very much to disempower you individually so that you feel that you would not have your own answer, to make you feel vulnerable, to make you feel that they as an individual uh, would know right for you, that then helps you not to think what is right and wrong for you, to gaslight you, many of your uh, population are gaslighting individuals at the moment and groups to say they are incorrect, to say they are mad, to say that they do um, create um, chaos on your planet at this time. Uh, we are mindful of our words we use, uh, but we are saying that if we look at your planet as, as it has been for many generations, as a narcissist to some degree, uh, the covert, very undercover, as in the bodies and structures of your planet, and as the typical narcissist overtly uh, pointing out individuals and uh, mocking uh, your own natural abilities. We are saying, we are channeling direct we are we are giving you the information this is the time for you to empower yourself individually so that you might go on to help individuals that you will meet your words will be listened to those around you and you start small by your own family members and then the friends around you um, we are saying this, that you do your research, you start to tune in, you start to see your own signs, you start connecting more intuitively to your abilities, like animals, if there's a tsunami, animals would flee. Whereas the humans now listen into the media, the radio stations, your news to be directed. We are saying this is about empowering you individually so that you do not listen to anyone but have that connection with the divine. You build your own connection with the divine, uh, the information. There are a great many loved ones here that have stepped over to the other side. Your loved ones who have passed over, they do not do you wrong. 
role they step forward to assist you they are your guides they will assist you by you connecting to them the belief uh, of them allowing them to step forward they will guide you they have not done you wrong in this life that you have lived on the earth plane when they are stepped to one side here they also continue to assist you but you can see by others mocking that part of your belief uh, making you feel silly for your beliefs making you feel stupid or doubting your own abilities keeps you small as individuals. So by you uh, becoming more in tune, by you being aware of messages you can receive. So we ask you to try this out. We ask you, we say to you right now that, you know, if you want a message from a loved one who has passed and who has deceased and you feel that you have been abandoned, Ask for a sign, you know, whether this is through words or pictures or listening to radio station of a song. Ask for guidance. Ask what they may, a song they may have liked or is there words in a song that you need to hear. There are always signs, but of course, if, we, if you are disconnected from seeing these signs, then you will be managed by the rest of your bodies that tell you on your planet that uh, how to organize manage yourself this is more that we come here at this moment we are what we say there are many words but if we are connected to the universe as one as yourself and we wish you to be connected also we do not manage or control we offer advice at this time I'm going back to my words just to check I have done what they have told me. Okay, thank you. And they have, okay, thank you. They just said that uh, this shuffle, shufflement on your planet um, of friends maybe that you find that maybe certain friends are falling by the side or you disconnecting with friends that what how their views or how you see things and how you, they might see things may not be in accordance to what feels right for you and it's important that you uh, uh your core beliefs this is a time to revalue your uh core beliefs your values how you see things uh, to have those around you that uh, feel similar. Yes, we are not saying that uh, not to come across those who f might feel differently to to then to make you feel maybe I'm incorrect or uh, need to look at it from a different perspective. But we're saying if someone believes in killing and you don't, why would you be friends with that individual? It's the same thing. It's extreme we say this, but it's the same thing. And I'm going to my next sheet of paper because there is more. <laughs> and I'm checking in with what they also said here. Okay, they also are saying again about the sonic frequencies, the sonic waves. It's very much about your intuition. It's very much about this is the time for you to have a greater understanding of what you feels right for you. So it will be, you know, even eating certain foods to check in with how it makes you feel afterwards. If that food causes disruption in your body, why would you eat it again? Uh, if certain people around you are making you feel uncomfortable, why would you be their friends? Um, it, it's about this, but yes, with family members, it's different in a sense, that's your growth. Um, friends, again, are they growth? It's up for you to decide, but not to lose yourself in this. Okay, I'm looking again, just to make sure. Okay, okay. Okay, so very much again, they're saying, okay, thank you. They just showed me this. Um, on the planet, it's very much, okay, thank you. Through fear, it creates the three wise monkeys. So, wants to see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. Which role do you play? Which monkey are you? At this time, it's very important not to be the monkey at this time it's to be you as an individual and to connect to the divine source so that you can step forward and that you can uh, come from a place of empowerment in your heart this is about looking at your values this is about what comes up for you in your mind is your mind bringing up fear and how you can possibly 
uh, learn through your own personal development and yourself at this time but by pretending you don't hear what's going on and you don't see what's going on and you don't speak about it keeps yourself small and your planet and very much so the frequency of what they're saying this evening is very much about how you can help yourself and help the planet okay think they just said this okay your planet's under threat by the human race and your planet needs your help what was going on before this period of time before this period of time we were looking at how the planet needed us how the eco was breaking down on the planet how we needed to look at our atmosphere how we needed to look at the lungs of the planet the trees how there have been this, this disforestation in different parts of the planet and the world um, we were looking at our oceans if our flora and fauna is disrupted we do no, no longer exist they are saying to me there is a smoke screen at the moment by creating chaos on the planet we then do not look at how the planet is actually asking for help when we look at our bodies if we do not take care of our bodies our bodies you know if we eat the wrong foods our bodies our intestines our skin uh, will break out our body will demonstrate will tell us if we look at the planet right now of the disruption that's happening on the planet of the natural disasters the climate changes that are happening if we look at what was going on before everything broke out before the disruption on the planet we were looking at how we could help our planet so if we have chaos the smoke screen we forget to listen to what's going on internally within our planet how we're destroying our food source our oxygen source that is what's going to keep humans alive if we create chaos we kill each other through war then we do not look at the other picture and i'm saying either channeled information i'm hearing is by saying this is a smoke screen to divide the planet at this moment if you divide you conquer if you give people empowerment if you teach them to use their natural intuition if you teach people to look at themselves and to see what helps to keep them healthy you then maybe you then say that you have your right over your body and you don't hand it over to other larger sources that govern the planet and in that way just like the narcissists we then say we take control we manage ourselves we then do not get into the pattern of the planet being governed by others telling us what it is that we need to stop and what we need to do so when we come together we work together as a one we start looking at what the planet really needs at this time not for us to be divided so that we are then easily conquered by creating discrimination through what's going on at the planet this time we could create infighting like the chimpanzees they bring them together they kill each other but then no one else has to do the work for you but what i'm hearing right now from the frequency i'm picking up is that i'm hearing from a greater source it's about look at your planet you are destroying it and the course that you're on right now will destroy it and you are doing the work for others the narcissist that controls you you are doing the work for others